Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be looking at a set of climb pliers that I just picked up. They are exceptionally good pliers, especially for what I need them for. Now these are the perfect set of pliers actually for me, uh, for my vehicle, and I'll tell you why. So nine times out of ten in my truck, uh, when we're going down the road, a lot of times when I need electrical pliers, it's because I'm working on trailer wiring. And so the fact that these have the integrated crimpers into them as well as wire cutting capability and wire stripping capability makes these an all-in-one set of pliers for that task. A lot of times you can find really good wire strippers, but you can't find a crimper and so they're in separate tools. Now I have several different pliers that have pretty decent crimpers on them, but I don't have a set that is specific for working on stuff like trailer wiring as these are now these are made in the usa they're model number 2005 n they have anvil style forged pliers by the way anvil style cutters up front they have crimpers for non-insulated connect connectors crimpers for insulated connectors and then they range uh, from the stripping capability ranges from 18 gauge stranded to 10 gauge stranded which is ideal for working on trailer wiring and then they have bypass cutters in the back so i've been playing around with these and man do they work exceptionally well that is a super super clean cut even the anvil cutters up front work just perfect and I've had a chance to use the crimpers a couple of times. Now, I don't have any non-insulated crimpers with me at the moment, but I want to show you how well these work. And I really like the fact that they're right there at the fulcrum. It makes them... A lot of times you'll get crimpers uh, in a plier, whichever plier base that may be, but the crimpers are usually at the back. And a lot of times you're fighting in tight spaces when you're working on stuff like uh, reconnecting brake wires on trailers where being able to come in from the front side makes it much much more advantageous so like i said i've been i've been messing around with these now this is 12 gauge strand of this thhn this is not the the type of wire that you would use on trailers but nonetheless i've been messing around with it a little bit and i was just really impressed at how clean a job it does for both stripping and for crimping so let me, uh, I got that a little bit long, so I'm going to cut that back just a little bit. And we're going to try out that insulated crimper. So we'll set that little guy on there. Put it for the insulated side. And one easy process, that thing is solid. That is a very nice set of pliers uh, for doing... But when you have to work with terminal ends like this, this is they just work fantastic. Now on the other side, I, like I said, I don't have any non-insulated uh, terminals, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and, and try this even on the insulated version uh, on the other side of this connector and see how well those work as well. So we'll get that seated in there, come in from the front side here, crimp it. And even at that, it makes a superb connection. I really like these particular pliers. Again, these are the Klein 2005N. On Amazon, they run about $38. Uh, I got them at Home Depot for right about the same price. They just, I, I can't say enough good things about them. And made in the USA. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you in the next one.